What is a good YouTube video end screen like? Do you even need an end screen? Why is it good to have one? Let's get some answers. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. So what are YouTube end screens for? Well, in a YouTube video, it's common practice to thank your audience for watching and saying goodbye. This part, if you think of it, is generally not an organic part of your content. We'll talk about this later though, because it should be. But ideally, people still watch it, so end screens give you the opportunity to interact with your audience and talk to them directly, especially if your content doesn't involve that. During this part of your video, you may also share news, updates concerning your audience and your channel. On YouTube, when you set up an end screen, you have a maximum 20 seconds to have elements visible. So ideally, that's the length of your outro as well. But this belongs to our next question, which is, what is a good end screen like? A good end screen needs to be neatly implemented into your video. Depending on your video genre, this can be done easier or harder. The reason the transition between your main content and your end screen needs to be smooth is because if they're too much separated, the viewers might click away, so all the information you'd say during your end screen most likely won't reach most people. This is why creators don't really use any more end screens designs like they used to, because that is a clear separation between the main content and the end screen or outro part. What you want is to have one big chunk of content that people watch from the beginning until the end. So like I mentioned earlier, your outro and screen should be around 20 seconds at max. Within these 20 seconds, you need to make sure you mention a couple of important call to actions. Subscribe to your channel, like the video, comment on the video, maybe personally recommend a video that they should watch and that you can also place as an element on your screen. And of course, thank them for watching. An update about your life or your channel will still interest your viewers, so they won't think that the video is over yet. But the moment you begin saying, for example, so that was the video for today, that means that the video is over and people will be very quick to click away. So to sum up, don't make a clear separation between your main content and the end screen. I think this is the most important piece of information here. Channel and personal updates needs to come before the end screen. Include your call to actions within this 20 seconds. Promote other videos and playlists on your channel with elements on screen as well. Okay, before moving on to our last question, I'd like to briefly introduce you to the Uniconverter, which is a multimedia toolbox. If you need software to convert your videos, compress them, trim them, merge them together, or use AI features for image and video enhancement, voiceover and subtitle generation, I'd urge you to download it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. I'm sure you won't regret it. You can also look around on the channel to explore the features it has. We've covered all of them over the years, so make sure to check them out. Okay, does it even make sense to have end screens? The answer is yes, but only if people watch it. That's why you need to pay attention how you make your end screen. Don't forget about your analytics either. In your analytics, you can clearly monitor whether or not people watch your end screens or they drop completely. Generally, there will be a little decrease in audience retention during your end screens, as you can see here, but depending on how drastic it is, you can measure whether or not you have a good or bad end screen. That being said, end screens are yet an extra tool in your hands to promote your own content to the people that are already watching your video, and you must use it to turn a first time viewer into a subscriber or to make your subscribers spend even more time on your channel. So if this video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and let us know for any topic requests in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.